Damn, Ryan. With a friend like you, who needs enemies? And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know how we do. <laughs> Intro! Yo, it's me, ya boy, JJV. Boom! What is good, fam bam? What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another uh, review video. Um, I did give this a once over, and I am glad ACAL put out a response to Ryan's video uh, because I was originally gonna review Ryan's video, which I did watch. And oh my God, CNN, eat your heart out. I'm just saying. Um, I would much rather give Adam the, the uh, view instead of Ryan at this point. Because, I mean, dude is just gone. You know, the church that we all knew, or at least we all thought we knew and loved, that guy's gone. Let's it's, it's just, it's just be real. Let's, let's face it. <clears throat> dude is done. Um, <clears throat> So Adam is responding... To church's video where church is basically trying to damage Adam's reputation. He's trying to, you know, damage his character, you know, ruin his life, um, and what have you. And would you believe at one point these guys were the best of friends? Mm, so close that they were like brothers. Anyway, let's go ahead and hear what my man Adam has to say in this video in which he calls Ryan Up Church the Internet Boy. And boy, does that title seem so fitting because boy ain't, ain't that the truth but anyway without further ado y'all like the hey hey ryan up church <laughs> pathetic mm -hmm. how, how, how crazy is it that a grown man has to get on the internet to talk to another grown man over some I mean, I don't think it's really fair to call Church a grown man at this point because, you know, he be acting like a whole spoiled brat, a total diva. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and we'll get further into that as we get deeper into this video because Adam's going to bring up um, something that happened during a recent show that members of the Triple T community were at. By the way, shout out to the Triple T family, especially Triple T himself. <clears throat> but, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but what Ryan does, I mean, it's it's bitch made shit, it's kid shit, you know what I mean? Um, but then again, what do you expect from a dude who hides behind security gates, armed guards, all the damn time, 24/7, 365? I mean, it is what it is. Bullshit that we could just handle offline, whether it be physical or, or, or just talking and just move on but that's not what you do nope. you're a master manipulator yep you gaslight a certain part of your audience that has turned into like a cult and they just believe facts and see th there's that word again a cult and that is exactly what creek squad has become not all of creek squad okay let's be clear your boy will always have love for the creek squad ogs that has been behind me that has been supporting me you know what i'm saying having my back so yeah, all the Creek Squad OGs that still rock with me, love y'all, appreciate y'all very much, all right? Anything negative being said towards Creek Squad is geared towards the newer, more ignorant, naive members of Creek Squad, you know what I'm saying, that are just following Ryan blindly, treating him like he's the second coming and he could do no wrong, okay? Those are the people we're addressing, all right? Just want to be clear. Anything you say, because you said it. But this is your life. This is where you live. Is on the internet. You only pick fights on the internet, mm -hmm. and you do it behind your gates yep. with your guarded security. So here I am. Thank you. On the internet. So for everyone that was in the live feed the other day, and I lost my shit. That's because you, Ryan, and all your little minions that you get. You put something in their head. You said that I made diss tracks about you that I never made. You that I still have yet to hear. And I want to know, where are these diss tracks that supposedly Adam has made? And if you truly believe he made a diss track on you, why aren't you dissing him then in response? And say his name while you're at it. Instead of being this, this, this undercover 
you know, popo type mofo. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Oh, rap and hip hop is a contact sport. And we always say names. You don't say names. And I know you low key diss me without saying my name. Don't think I don't know what you meant when you said swimming to another coattail. I know what you meant by that. And best believe a response for that is coming. It is. Started a fight and now you're the victim and I'm the crazy one. This is what you have done to so many people. You just steamroll them with your fucking little fucking cult crazy people who just go from page to page and leave all these comments and shit. And then we never hear about them again. You have tried to destroy so many people's careers, lives, families. Yes, families. That grieving... Yes, and before we get deeper into that, because I want to pick it back on Nick Cal's point, this is how Church tries to keep himself ahead by tearing down those he works with, those who were his friends that were in the game. Once he's done working with them or using them, I think would be a better term. Uh, much like you know the Joker, you know when he's done using his little minions, his goons, whatever, he kills them. Right now, Church is the Joker of the music game in the sense that once he's done using them, he tries to kill them off by ruining their careers. Ru you know what I mean? Ruining their lives. That's what he does. He's like a locust. Let's go. Careers, lives, families. Yes, families. That grieving family of Kylie Rodney, a dead kid. You still are making videos about this shit. And then Ryan makes a video. Not wrong. And I even called him out on that in my community post. Where he commented, accusing me of being someone who types like a high schooler and says I was being weird. Dude, I'm not the one on the internet talking about other people's dead children. And just like I told you in that comment that I'll say, it, I'll repeat it right here again. You want to call me weird, right? Dude, I'll stop being weird by your standards when you stop talking about other people's dead children. And you're about to be a father, right? Your girl's about to give birth to your daughter. How would you feel if I started making videos about your daughter? Hmm? How would you feel if some other motherfucker makes a video about your daughter? Don't get mad because you didn't have a problem talking about other people's children. So you should not get mad when other people talk about your kid on the internet. Because you brought that, that fucking chaos on yourself. And, and again, don't make any more vlog videos about you being sued because you bring that shit on yourself. You still are making videos about this shit. And yeah. then Ryan makes a video this morning or whatever the fuck it was. And, and he's talking about, oh man, when you're at the, when you're at Taylorville, the people are going to, you're like gaslighting your audience. Like, oh, people are going to boo you. You might start a riot. And I'm not saying I can't help you. Like, Bitch, I don't need your help. You didn't make. Nobody needs Ryan's help. Especially me. Look at my channel. Look at where, where my channel is. That's because I put in the work. I've done a lot for my channel. You, the people, the audience who watch my stuff, you done more for my channel combined than Church ever has. Yes, Church has shown love to me before in the past. But church is not the end all be all for anybody is my point. Whether I make content about him that's related to him or not, my channel still grows. So no church, you are not the gatekeeper of anybody's career, of anybody's livelihood. So you need to check this God complex of yours because you are not God at the end of the day. There's only one God. And we all know who that is. And it ain't you. Make me. God made me. And I was already viral all over the place with millions and millions of views before I ever fucking met you. And I always give you credit for Die Tonight and for getting me back into music. And that's... Not only that, every time Adam Calhoun has had an interview, right... And whenever Church's name comes up, he always gave Church his roses. Always. Every single time. When Church comes up in conversations, Adam is always quick to give Church his roses. Give him the credit. 
for helping to urge him on to keep him going in the in the music game. And that's not good enough for for church, apparently. He he doesn't care about any of that. Stops. That's then. That's it. That's where as far as it goes. So let's see what this dipshit is talking about today. You goddamn, you fucked up this time, didn't you? Okay. So Ryan has like 12 different personalities, but today we get to see wannabe adult Ryan, not yep. tweaked out of his fucking mind. Yep. You're 50 fucking years old. It's two in the morning. This is pretty normal compared to what you do at two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. All right, looks like he's shitting in his pants. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he looks constipated as fuck. <laughs> Look at that face! <laughs> That's the face you make when you're copping a squat on the pot. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Literally, shit. What do you think that is? Tell me why when that before the light bulb actually lights up, it sounds like he's triggering a switch. Watch, let me, let me play this back. What do you think that is? See, did, did anyone not hear that? I'll play it one more time. Tell me that, that there's, there's not a switch on that bulb. What do you think that is? Really? Alright, no, 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 screw two. We ain't, we ain't playing that game. Uh-uh. Fix my resolution, damn it. One more time. Tell me there's not a switch on this bulb. What do you think that is? It's a light bulb, Ryan. But everyone in your comments is like, Man, Ryan invented electricity. Like, yeah. cheering you on. You're fucking crazy. These grown-ass men. One's a war vet, and one thinks he's going to be the fucking president of the United States somehow when he can't because he has a felony. You stupid fuck. Hey, stupid fuck. You can be a president with a felony. Okay, whoa, whoa. No, come on. Come on, screw tube. Don't, don't fuck with us now. Let's go. Because he has a felony. You stupid fuck. Hey, stupid fuck. You can be a president with a felony. But your fans... See, dude, do your research before you go and spit out bullshit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Believe everything you say. So <clears throat> let's go, Ryan. Keep preaching, brother. You're on live. Gang stalking up church fans because you're jealous that they got to come... Backstage and you did. And that's a lie. He only went in on Captain Kurt be on, because him and Captain Kurt um, <clears throat> have some unresolved issues. They have some unfinished business. And Adam was basically trying to, you know, get the shit done, over with, and settled. That's what that was all about. I should know. I was there. I was watching, Ryan. I witnessed the whole thing. So... Miss, miss me with the bullshit and miss a lot of us with that bullshit. <clears throat> now, see, this video right here that Ryan put out, if you actually go and, and take the time to watch it, and, and I don't blame you if you can't sit through the whole thing because it's a 13-minute video, whereas Adam's video is only six minutes. Um, <clears throat> you'll see Church play a bunch of clips from Triple T's live. However... He, he doesn't show full context of what's being said between Adam and Kurt. He doesn't show full context of what everyone else is saying in regards to the situation. No, he plays little snippets that 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 work with his narrative. Ryan Uptrich has become the mainstream news media. And it should be no surprise given the fact that he put out an Instagram story basically telling everyone that he was he's being interviewed by ABC. So congratulations, church. For a guy who hates mainstream media, right? The guy who hates mainstream record labels. You're sure doing a lot of things. A lot. Of, you're using a lot of tactics that these entities use towards those who you called friend, those who you called brother. 
those who you call family. You're the biggest hypocrite in this world that I've ever seen. You're a dirty ass snake. That's what you are. You had a problem with Tom McDonald being interviewed by what Fox News and CNN. Oh, but it's okay for you to turn around and to get interviewed by mainstream news media. <clears throat> ah, ah, okay. All right. Get, see, there you go, confusing people. The way you just said that made it sound like I was mad that I couldn't come backstage. <laughs> I was the headliner the day after you, and I let... Oh, so this was that situation that I pointed out earlier. As far as Ryan being like a total diva and everything. So what happened at this show, and Adam's going to get into it more with, with you guys. As a matter of fact, let me wind that back so we don't miss any of the context. So, and members of the Triple T community were there as well. And they've all said, too, that, yeah, when... Everyone else, including Adam, would, would perform. Nobody had a problem with with anybody that was actually involved with the show and that's actually part of the show to be anywhere near the stage, to be in the backstage area. And the whole time that was going on, Church, where was Church? He was in his tour bus, being anti-social as fuck. And <clears throat> when he finally would, would come out, right, and, and was about to hit the stage, everybody had to be cleared out. Everybody that wasn't involved with him had to be cleared out. They were not allowed anywhere near the stage. Nobody was allowed in the backstage area. No, no, no. Because King Shit, or excuse me, Queen Shit, needs to have her space. Needs to have everything all to herself. And only a certain select few of people could be a, a, around her and around the staging area. I was the headliner the day after you, and I let all reactors come backstage, yep. all artists come backstage, and all on the stage. Everyone can video whatever. And there is video evidence of this, and there's also pictures of this. Picture evidence of this that you can actually see for yourself. <clears throat> Shout out to my man, Daniel Armstrong. I saw pictures of him with Adam. I saw pictures with him in uh, Demon Jones, uh, Just In Time. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I, I've seen the pictures. I've seen video footage being posted. You know, um, I remember uh, there's actually a video, I believe, on Tim's channel, Triple T's channel, where Adam invited him onto the stage and showed him love on the stage. Gave the man his flowers. Adam gave Triple T his flowers. You know what I mean? Showed him love, showed him all kinds of respect and everything. Where, where was church? Hmm? Whatever the fuck they want, because it's good for the <clears throat> genre. I'm not going to say all the bullshit you pulled, but you mostly stayed on your bus like a, like a, you're a bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck mine up, church. Fuck Creek Squad. Hell yeah, Adam. I, I, <clears throat> hold up. Yeah, see, so, again, see, there's a little example right here of church in that CNN or excuse me, mainstream media mode, again, playing a little snippet, a little clip that he can use to make it fit his narrative. So he's trying to say that <clears throat> Adam was saying, when Adam said fuck Cree Squad, he meant all of Cree Squad. And that's not true. And Adam's going to show you the full, the full context of what was actually said in regards to Cree Squad. So let's get into it. Why didn't you show him this part? Because it doesn't fit your narrative. Where, where, where does this come I, I from? I said, again, I'll say it again. If you represent Cree Squad, whatever the fuck that is, I want nothing to do with them. And if they're anything like you, they're all pieces of fucking shit. I like... Yeah, Church, why didn't you show that part? Mr. CNN? Hmm? Mr. Mainstream News Media? Let's wind that back again, shall we? Let's let's get the full context one more time, shall we? Why didn't you show him this part? Because it doesn't fit your narrative. Where, where does this I, come I from? I said again, I'll say it again. If you represent Cree Squad, 
whatever the fuck that is, I want nothing to do with them. And if they're anything like you, they're all pieces of fucking shit. I like how you twist it and make it sound like I'm saying fuck a whole fan base. It's real <clears> simple. <throat> if you are a troll like Ryan and his little butt, and that's the type of shit you're on? Yeah, fuck you. You're so business minded. Say fuck all the people that are gonna be at this show. He trying to fuck the event up. You see how this man lies on the people that supposedly he once cared about? And by the way, Ryan, speaking about the people you care about, Captain Curtis, your homie, right? Why did you leave him hanging high and dry? to take all these shots from Adam. Hmm? Why didn't you jump on tri Triple T's panel and have your boys back? Hmm? Hmm? Inquiry Minds would like to know. Oh, because you're not a real one. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I kind of had that, fig that one figured out. <clears throat> Do you realize that business owners are going to be like, yeah, not that guy. <laughs> His music was already fucking horrible. Now he's doing this shit and citing violence before he... Remember how I made the comparison to Ryan Uttridge to the Joker earlier? How many of y'all seen the 1989 Batman movie? <clears throat> With Michael Keaton as Batman, Jack Nicholson as the Joker. If you were to remake that movie with these guys, Captain Kurt would be the Bob the Goon of you know the 89 batman movie you know what i mean he'd be he'd be the joker's sidekick that gets that gets shot at in the end by the joker himself i'm just saying i think that's a perfect metaphor let's go he gets there picking <clears throat> fights with thousands of people being like yo fuck you thousands of people also i've never said creek squad wreck holler boy or skin in my life that's not my shit that's ryan's I actual factuals adam has goon squad i also have never had any rappers or country rappers come up to me and say anything about creek squad the only time i hear or, or see anything about creek squad is a thousand or two thousand people in comments like that's all they do they just like troll people on the internet that, that's the only all right what is up with you today screw tube <clears throat> come on now I think you two don't like the truth. I think that's, that's what the problem is. That's all they do. They just like troll people on the internet. That's the only shit that I've ever heard or seen. So if you're from Creek Squad and that doesn't apply to you and you don't do that shit and you're just here for the music, much love. To hear that? Hear that? Yo, let me let me point that back. Let, I wanna I wanna make sure my man is making himself perfectly clear for y'all. Or heard or seen. So if you're from Creek Squad and that doesn't apply to you and you don't do that shit and you're just here for the music much love to not just you to everyone that listens to our fucking music apparently ryan th thinks all right come on come on come on much love. Done. come on to not just you to everyone that listens to our fucking music apparently ryan thinks he's fucking elvis or some shit I yeah and i have seen a video where ryan has compared himself to elvis everyone that listens to our fucking music apparently ryan thinks he's fucking elvis or some shit i don't you're the one on yeah ryan did compare himself to elvis he compared himself to like how his story compares to elvis and whatnot elvis is not even the only one then he compares his life to elton john after watching that elton john um was it that that docu film um that that is based on elton john's life or whatever and how he came up and everything and it's like dude you're you're not the next elton john you're not the next elvis all right, you are delusional as all fuck if you think you are anything, <clears throat> anything like those people. I mean, bruh. I'm here telling everybody to S your D, you know, Creek Squad, S, S my D. Dude, Creek Squad has kids in it. Creek, Creek Squad has kids in it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting choice of words there. Creek Squad has kids in it. Yeah. And you're online still and in yeah and you're online still and in court talking about a dead kid yeah make that make sense so Cree squad has kids in it and yet you don't have any problems talking about a dead kid huh 
Huh? Girl, I am not perfect. I am no angel. This is gay. If anyone's paying attention, it's the, it's the same thing over Ryan. He starts some shit, then some shit hits the fan, and he's like, whoa, I'm not doing anything. I don't understand. Yep, it's a constant cycle with him. He starts shit with people, right? He'll put he'll be the bully one minute, right? And then when the people he's picking on fire back, right? Lash back at him. Oh, now he wants to play the victim card, like, oh, I'm just minding my own business, painting pictures of alien spacecrafts, giraffes, and, and farmhouses and, and all these other things. Dude. Stop. Stop. We see the evidence plain as day on your channel. You like to play the bully when it's convenient for you. Then you want to play, turn around and play victim when it's convenient for you. You've done this for years. It's a constant cycle with you. You're one of these guys that likes to, you know, talk tough and act tough and everything, but yet, you know, you only do that when you're when you're again locked up in your Fortnite fortress with your security gates your armed guards but then when you're out and about oh you got to make sure you have security around you at all times because can no real one actually confront you in person okay, you're, you're a coward you're a bitch and it shows there's no hiding it once you put shit out there on the internet it stays out there on the internet and people see your true colors oh, excuse me let me correct that real ones see your true colors we all see that yellow streak that lines up down your spine we see you why the f <clears throat> that person's crazy no bitch you're crazy look in the mirror yeah see look here's the thing you want to make fun of adam for the way he talks, right? At least Adam knows how to pronounce the word mirror. Let's, let's hear him one more time. That person's crazy. No, bitch, you're crazy. Look in the mirror. I you hear that? It's pronounced mirror. Not the way you pronounce it, which you say mirror. You say mirror like as if you're calling for Aquaman's girlfriend. <laughs> I'm saying man those with glass houses should never throw stones I'm just saying <clears throat> will not you started some dumb bullshit online I will not, not let you just roll over me and run with any type of narrative that you want and I'll do that for all the people that you trashed and have trashed online and try to ruin their lives and all that shit yeah, go ahead bro I'll burn Burn all the fucking boats. I don't care. Set this bitch on fire. Here, send it. <sighs> fucking YouTube, man. All the times we acting up. Why now, dude? Uh, and I'll do that for all the people that you trashed and have trashed online and try to ruin their life. Alright, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna have to sacrifice, I guess, my uh, resolution. That means that this shit will fucking play properly. Lives and all that shit. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. I'll burn all the fucking boats. I don't care. Set this bitch on fire. Send it. I've been saying send it from the beginning. Whatever you got on me, because I'm going to unload right back on you. And see, this is what I love and respect about Adam, dude. He got nothing to hide, man. He, he's made it known. Yeah, he's not, he's not no saint. He's not no angel. Yeah, he's done wrong. But the man is human at the end of the day. Just like you, Ryan. I mean, look how bad you're messing up right now. But you know what? All this could be forgiven and forgotten about had you been man enough to talk to Adam face to face and just squash the shit. Whether you squab it out, whether you talk it out, either way. You have the power to end 
all of this drama right now. But no, you want to keep it going. Why? Because you think it's going to keep you relevant. Drama only sells for so long. It does. It, it may Drama may sell, but it only sells for so long. Eventually, people get tired of it and they move on. Again, though, all this can be done. Yep. If you were a man. Yep. But you're not. You're an internet kid. Facts. Facts. And here's another thing, too. You guys want to see a prime example of Ryan Upchurch being a hypocrite? He has the nerve to call out Adam Calhoun and Tom McDonald for posting a satire picture of them making fun of pregnant transgender couples. Remember that? Well, Ryan, a little piece of evidence was, was brought to my attention that I'm going to share with my audience here because, well, First Amendment allows me to. Remember um, one of your old girlfriends? I think her name was Brianna, right? But you used to call her Brie. There is a video of her putting makeup on you, making you look like a woman. Oh, y'all don't believe me? Well, check this out. This is how you be a good boyfriend, guys. Makeup, really? What is that? It's, stop! It's what is it? You powder? Know, yes! It smells good. It smells like Betty White's fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> What was that stuff you just put on my face? I mean, just now. Eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow primer. Well, I'm starting to look like that one dude, man, thing. Kyle Jenner. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now, what is this? It's eyeshadow. Okay, I don't know these things. Stop, you can't do that. I can't do what? You can't open your eye. How the fuck am I supposed to know? Go, 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 go. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. You can't move. Seriously? I'm not fucking up. moving. Feels like you're poking me in the fucking eyeball with the pencil. Sorry. I can see the fucking eyeshadow. Yes, I can see it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Can we stop now? No, I'm not even done. Whoa. You can't do that. Not on this eye. <laughs> you said no eyeliner. Remember what happened last time? No, I said this is a different type of eyeliner. Oh, really? This one's probably more permanent, huh? No. What is that? Come on. You about to autograph my forehead? What is it? It's eyeliner. I'm a go. Why can't you just do what all the other lesbians do in that show and just go find a girlfriend? <laughs> your face is priceless! I was just kidding. Okay. So after you're done, do I get to be a part of the Kardashian family too? Mm -hmm. Yay! You have short hair like Chris Jenner. Don't ever fucking ever say that again. Go ahead, Ranger. Do not move! Oh. <laughs> I'm not! I'm stiff! <laughs> oh, hell no! Brianna! What the fuck is on my eye? What is that? It's eyeliner. You've been doing eyeliner for like four hours. No, I have not. Fire. I swear to God, this is going to be able to get off with just water. Yeah. I <laughs> uh, with the eyeliner and then mascara. Mascara? Yeah, that comes off the water too. I promise. Why am I feeling you're lying? I'm not lying, I promise. It's different from last time. It it's different from last time. You better be telling the truth. I promise. Look, if you're going to keep on doing it, look, can I just can I put a dip in while you do it? Yeah. You ain't never seen a lesbian with a dip, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's do this thing. Don't do that right now. For real, it's all uneven. Fuck it fucking matters. It, it where are we go? Where are we going? We going to a gay bar? We ain't going no fucking where like this. I'll tell you that right now. Because it's gonna get. I'm sorry. Right. Why are you sorry? Time for mascara. Oh my. The only thing, mascara. I'm scared of you. Hello. Damn, you're rough. So now what is that? It's still the honor. Oh my god. All right, now what is that? Mascara. What does mascara do? It goes on your eyelashes. It goes on my Actually, eyelashes. this is the, the 3D fiber strap uh, mascara. Mood strap. Well, are we almost done? Yep. Bullshit. Can I do this? Maybe this is my fault. Is this how all girls look when I do it? Uh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, fibers. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm totally going somewhere right now. I mean, like, don't move. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, uh. I look like one of those white Chinese girls that goes to the club and don't talk to no fucking body. Fuck 
I got Hurry it. up! Alright, I gotta do this song. <laughs> stop, stop. Don't film. Okay, I won't. God dang it. You're blocking my nose. It's all over anyway. your nose now. It's all over your nose now. Ooh. <laughs> Look, that's what it looks like when you're riding a dirt bike real fast in the middle of the night and bugs are splattering <laughs> all over your face. Oh. <laughs> Move your head. I mean, that's what she no, did. Put it down. Put your eye down. <laughs> I mean, close your eye. <laughs> Hurry up before the transplanting gel uh, dries. Oh no, the transplanting gel. What am I gonna do? For real. Uh, I'll put marker on your eye because I ran out of um, eyeliner. What? It's Crayola Doodle Scent. It's a marker. It's a marker. I knew you'd fucking do something like this. <laughs> you look gay. Hold on, wait, wait. Oh. Let me style your hair. Let's go get it. Oh, no. no, I had the perfect thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You better let me play Xbox later. Okay. Let me do your hair. No, you've done too much damage. Well, I'm going to put this on your head. No, but it looks like one of those things you put around bridles. Leg things. It's going on your head. No. Yes, it is. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you seriously look like one of the girls I went to school with. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you was going to say a golden girl. I was about to be like, get the fuck out. Yeah. You're not taking no pictures. They're going on the video. Oh, yeah. Bullshit! I know you. I You're gonna be like it. Instagram, Facebook, ha ha! Look at what I did. <laughs> That's exactly what you're gonna do. No, I won't. I promise. Woo! Simping ain't easy, ain't it, Ryan? <laughs> you fucking cuck! Tell me why my man looks better as a woman than he does a man. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. Shit is just too funny and too real. But it is what it is at the end of the day. Y'all look. Like I said, the church can come on to my, my videos. He can come on to my, my community postings. Post his little stupid comments all he wants. But here's the thing, dude. What goes around comes around, dog. Whatever energy you put out there, don't don't expect it to not come back your way. For every action, that there's there's consequences for your actions. And besides, you were the one who was on Captain Kurtz Live about a year ago, I think it was. Maybe a little bit over a year ago. Where you said if your favorite artist is doing some suspect shit or says some suspect shit, don't be afraid to call them out on their shit. You've said this. You gave all us hollow boys and girls, all us creakers, the green light to hold you accountable for your words and your actions. And I don't know, I guess you thought we wouldn't take you up on that. Hence why you got pissed off at me and started fighting with me on the internet because that's what you do and all because I was doing something that you asked for make that make sense anyways y'all that's pretty much it for me y'all know the deal you feeling the vibes over here don't forget to like comment share and of course subscribe especially if you're new and um, I will leave the link uh, for this video. So if y'all want to go show Adam some love, highly encourage y'all to go show my man some love, especially with all the bullshit he's been dealing with. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so yeah, man. Shout out to Adam Calhoun. You know what I mean? Big ups to him for being a real man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, we need more, more, more folks like A-Cal in this world. You know what I'm saying? I think we can really benefit from that. I'm just saying. That's just my opinion. But anyways, y'all. Till the next one. Y'all bless one. All right. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason JV? I'm just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call
call me Buddy Pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? I didn't see you back. I just want to have the next day with a little trick. Who said what's up, JV? Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you sad. If you sad, you sad. If you sad, you happy. Uh, don't be too happy. Don't be expecting shit. It's like doing curves all the time. So be ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!